Hi, it's Jim with Cyber Recon. We're back to talk more about Security Plus certification preparation. And today we're going to talk about Mac spoofing. So let's jump into the slides. So we look at Mac spoofing and we have to think about how does the attacker get into the middle of your conversations uh, in things like man in the middle? And how do they do things like bypass certain restrictions that are in place that are looking for specific MAC addresses to get through, say, a network or something like that? Normally, you can do this with MAC spoofing. So the basics of MAC addresses is a MAC address is a media access control address. This is an address that's assumed to be burned into the network card when it comes from the factory. This is also known as a physical address. And I like to make this analogy that it's similar to a person's social security number. So when you're born, you get a social security number. Normally it doesn't change, right? And that's how we expect a MAC address to be on a network card. It shouldn't change, uh, but we're gonna see later there is a possibility to change it for some very specific reasons, right? The MAC address is used for our layer two routing and it's made up of six two-digit hexadecimal numbers, which turns out to be 48 bits long. It looks like the example here, 3 Delta colon 34 colon Bravo Delta colon Charlie Charlie colon 9 Alpha colon 6 1. See those separated by colons usually? The first half of this, or the first three sets of two digits, makes up the manufacturer of the network card, and the last half is what makes that card unique. So put together, this should be a unique number, and we shouldn't see this on other network cards, although, as we'll see, they can be changed. Uh, if you look back, remember our OSI model, the layer two traffic is passed along the data link layer, and that's why we're, we know that MAC addresses are used for traffic on the layer two level of the network. So when we spoof or change our MAC address, we can do it with specific types of software. There's some malicious software that does this, and also some drivers now allow you to do this. So layer two spoofing or MAC spoofing is often used by attackers to launch man in the middle attacks. So they can pretend to be another computer and things like ARP cache poisoning are effective by using a, a spoofed MAC address. We can also use MAC spoofing to defeat MAC filtering on some applications and networks. So at some points, we may use uh, rudimentary uh, protection measures like MAC filtering, only allowing specific MAC addresses to access resources on our network. So this is easily defeatable by changing our MAC address or doing MAC spoofing. There are some legitimate reasons for doing this. It may be required to have a specific MAC address by some software, and some networks or ISPs may require a specific address. Though there are some legitimate uses for MAC spoofing, but it is a technique that's used by an attacker to bypass filtering technologies and also to launch man-in-the-middle attacks. So this is one of the things we will have to know for our Security Plus exam. I'm Jim, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when new content comes out, and we'll see you next time. Be careful out there.